What's up guys, Gary7 here, welcome to the 7 Day Sky Patch 5 update video. First things first, I want to talk about distance range. You can see it's been improved, we can now see across the lake rather than not even to the edge of it. So the patch notes are as follows guys, so apologies if there's two minutes I won't be able to read the chat. But we've got distance train, so the distance train setting that allows you to see train in the distance. It is set to off by default, go to your options, video is display distance train to toggle it on. Uh, it is only available in single player and online multi games it is not on local multiplayer, so not on split screen. In online games, each player can toggle it on or off without conflicting other players' settings. Gameplay fix an issue where random generated maps would not generate certain points of interest, or any. Uh, this will only be fixed on new random generated worlds created after patch 5, so from tonight. Random gen worlds created before patch 5 will not include the fix. Fix an issue where switching between different random generated worlds on the same run of the game could sometimes cause terrain generation corruptions. When this bug would occur, the terrain generation corruption could cause chunks to be in the places that did not belong, there leading to inc incomplete buildings and vertical walls of terrain. The chunks and automatically try to correct the terrain generated. La la la, so they fix that. Fix an issue where the experience level of some skill perks would not display correctly after the system language has been changed. Fix an issue where the changing the system language would cause elements of the world to create with a different language setting to change the locating or reset. Fix an issue where hunger and hydration would drop if the player hit the guide or PS button on the controller to return to the dashboard or home screen. Change the quest tracker so that it would appear during local multiplayer games. Fix things with art and audio. Fix an issue with the sound effects of certain weapons that could only be audible for the first player in the split screen. Enjoy Patch 5, everybody. Thank you for taking your time to reach out to us and for your continued support. Seven days to die. Thank you as well for watching Gary87 stream. You should sub to him if you haven't already because he is awesome. That's what they said, so you should probably do what they say. No, they didn't. Yeah. There you are, guys. So that is what they've updated. So you can see this in the train looks awesome. Um, but yeah, quite a good little update, I think. I think what they've added is awesome. Let me know what you think of the update in the uh, comments down below, guys. If you are new, please do feel free to drop a sub. It is appreciated. And if you have enjoyed this video and found it useful, please don't forget to smack that like button. Hopefully, I'll catch you soon in one of my live streams. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye-bye.